ya leo tuna ndugu yetu mwalimu cheshe tunamwitaka rasko asinga ndio program inasema ni nini lakini kuna kile Mungu alizungumzia hivyo naomba tuombe kwa jina la Yesu tunapomkumbisha Mungu Baba katika jina la Yesu tupo mbele zako kama watoto wako na unasema ya kwamba wawili watatu wakusanyapo kwa ajili yako Bwana na wewe utakuwa pamoja na wao na tunaamini Mungu tulipoanza ibada hii ulikuwa pamoja nasi na hata mambo yote ambayo tumefanya hapa yameleta utukufu kwako tumekuomba mambo mengi tumekusifu tumekuabudu tumetoa shuhuda na sasa tumefika wakati wa kuzikia neno lako Mungu ninaamini umeandaa mtumishi wako anapotunenea naamini ya kwamba Mungu anapozungumzia na wewe na anapozungumzia baba utatutengeneza uonavyo vizuri mahali tumeumia utatufunga mahali ambapo hatujaenda vizuri utaturudisha mahali tunahitaji kukembewa utatukembea na mahali tunahitaji baraka Mungu utatupe baraka baje ashiria kwako kama watoto wako toa baraka ya kutulia roho ya Kristo katika jina la baba na la mwana mtakatifu tunaomba na kuamini amen Tumalike dugu yetu hapa kwa makobi Kwa baibu ni hiyo Kwa baibu Kwa baibu ni hiyo Kwa baibu ni hiyo Praise Jesus Amen Thank you for everything For giving me this opportunity Anashukuru mchungaji kwa upatia na fasi hii so I can speak the word of God Dio kaweze kunena neno la Mungu as inspired by the Holy Spirit Akisaidiwa na Roho Mtakatifu Yeah my name is Arasto Asiega Majina yake anaitwa Arasto Asiega My nickname is Mwalimu Cheche Na jina la Mungu is Jesus is coming soon Lakini asubuhi ya leo Mungu akamwambia kwamba neno kuwafundisha kwamba Yesu anakuja karibuni We have heard from the old Tunasikia kutoka kitambo the prophet is saying na kwamba maneno yamesemwa the words of Daniel lakini kitabu cha Daniel the words of John in Revelation katika kitabu cha Yohana ufunuo in in uh, epistles the the books of epistles vitabu za mitume in Matthew Jesus himself speaks about the end time. Yesu alisema kuhusu nyakati za mwisho. And we have heard so many preachers talking about end time. Na tumesikia wachungaji wengi wakisema siku za mwisho. They have written even books. Wameandika hata vitabu. A lot of them. Wengi wao has been the end time. Wakisema mambo ya nyakati za mwisho. I want to remember the year 2000 flat. Nataka kusema mambo ya 2000 when there was a shaking on the wall wakati kulikuwa na shaking mtingiziko mtingiziko wa dunia when wakati manabii wengi they have prophesied that Jesus is coming in the year 2000 walitabiria kwamba Yesu atakuja nyakati zile za 2000 according to the calculation of the calendar wako naangalia kalenda zao that moment i was in Uruma. I was a very, a very young man living in Uruma. Wakati huo alikuwa naishi katika sehemu ile ya Uruma. I was just in one, one, uh, one or two years in Nairobi. Wakati walikuwa mekaa mwaka mmoja maka mepisa mwaka yuri. Kama alikuwa kijana. I was feeling with the, with the Redeem Gospel Church. Alikuwa na shiriki katika kalisa le, lile la, la Redeem Gospel Church. And working as a chaplain alikuwa anakaa katika ule wakana kwa masauri ya Mungu kwa wanafunzi na wazazi amen alikuwa kama mshauri alikuwa mshauri amen that's the court court chaplain amen then at here the night before first of january usiku ule wa kuamkia january mwaka huu even the drunkards went to the church and got saved Wengi walienda katika makanisa wakaokoka because 
they believe Jesus is coming at that time. Walikuwa naamini ya kwamba Yesu anakuja nyakati zile. But the Bible says nobody knows the day nor the hour when Jesus comes until his word is preached to every individual. Lakini lakini Bible inasema ya kwamba hakuna ajuae wakati wa Yesu kuja. Yeah, if you go to study and do your own research, there are some people who have never never heard the word of God at this moment you are living in this civilization. Katika nyakati unapoenda utafiti unaweza ukaenda uone uone ya kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao hawajajua ijili bado. Right away even in this country of ours Kenya. Hata katika nchi yetu ya Kenya there's people who have never heard the word. Kuna watu ambao bado hawajajua ijili God says. Lakini Biblia inasema till every soul baka Loho zote shall hear his word. Itasikia neno is when Jesus Christ will come. Dio Yesu atapokuja. Jesus gave the signs of his coming. Lakini mahadilisho ya Yesu he says when you will hear people fighting. Lakini unaposikia watu country fighting against another country. Wakipigana taifa likipigana na lingine. Family fighting against another family. Family zikipigana na family zingine. People die. Watu wakikufa. Father killing the son. Mzazi akiua mtoto. Mother killing her daughter. Mza, mama akiua msana wake. And so many other people. Na mambo mengi mabaya. Those are just the signs of the coming of Jesus. Hayo ni mahibilisho ya kwamba Yesu yukaribu kuja. And the Bible says let's continue encouraging one another. Maandiko inasema wacheni tu tutiane nguvu mmoja na mwingine because the time is near kwa sababu wakati huu karibu and Jesus is coming very soon na Jesus Yesu anakuja hivi karibuni haleluya haleluya are you prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ je uko tayari kurudi kwa Yesu how are you prepared umeji umeji tayarisha aje he says he come like a thief in the night biblia inasema ya kwamba atakuja kama mwizi usiku the time when people be marrying and eating and lagging the that time Jesus will come. Ni wakati watu watapenda raha zao ndipo Yesu atakapoingia. The last days. Maandiko inasema siku za mwisho people will be lovers of God. Badala ya kumpenda Mungu, people will be slavishers. Watu watapenda or gluttons. Gluttons. Malati. Yeah. People will be slavishers. Watu wata, watakuwa walambi or another word we say corruption. Corruption. We saw you see the women in the churches because like uh, man of the church you get people stealing them. Yeah. Watu wana haya kweli. Yeah. So that's the last day the Bible says about the last days. Mabiko inasema ni hizo ni siku za mwisho. People will love evil. Watu watapenda uovu the loving God. Badala ya kumpenda Mungu, the Bible says, Biblia inasema, they will make sin into law. Watafanya dhambi into law. They will make sin to become an authority. Watafanya dhambi iwe ni haki. Like what we are talking about lesbianism and homosexuality. Kama vile tunasema mambo ya lesbian, wanaume kuwa waume wengine. Yeah. You see how they are, they are, they are begging to be a debate. Wanaifanya iwe ni mjadala. In US it's a law. Na katika US sheria. Ni ni sheria. In British it's a law. It's a law for to marry of one sex. Ni ha, ni haki kuwa mtu asiye wa upande wako. And the Bible cannot to say. Anataka kusema people will leave the desires of one another of woman to man woman to man woman to man watu wanaishi nyakati za kupenda mwanaume kwa mwanaume mwingine they will not even love man to man Hawa, watu hawatamani hawa, kuoa kama ni mke hatamani kuolewa na mume they will go and desire after animals kuna penda katika hata wanyama yeah they will start marrying animals wanakuwa wakio wakioa wanyama and to make it worse in this last times na za kuzidisha sana katika nyakati hizi companies are manufacturing manufacturing dolls for men and dolls for women <laughs> companies 
ni kampuni ya manufacturing ya kutengeneza women wanawake as dolls kama dolly dolly for for women for men to marry kwa waume kuoa ya manufacturing men as dolls watatengeneza waume for, for men to marry thank you <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. What is this feeling? This is the last time. This is in the last time. Why is this happening? Kwa nini mambo haya yanatendeka? The devil wants to cut the generation. Shetani anataka kuinua kizazi. Like there's one kind of forgetting is that they body women because they want no even women for men to marry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> what God says, go ye in the world. God God say to, uh, to Adam, sorry, God say to Adam and if Mungu akasema na Adam na Eve to multiply and feed the earth. Ya kwamba wazae na kaongezeke. Never is trying to reverse that. Lakini shetani anataka kuondoa hiyo. Yeah. So, he's using that means of people becoming more lovers of themselves. Dipo shetani anataka kuingia watu wajipende. Yeah. And to have to be like vicious. Na wajipende wawe wanajipenda. Yeah, I can go to that in the word I get me read the word first. So I'm going to go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Let's open Matthew 24. Tabu ni chamadayo 24. Start from 20. Start from 20. Pray. Over. That you may not land at time. The Bible says those who are in the rooftop, they should not go down. Yeah. Those who are in the houses, they should not leave. And it says woe to the those who will be pregnant at that time and those who mothers will be having children at that time from verse 5 then you can read the Bible Revelation chapter 22 chapter 7 Santi so we are talking about the end time tunaongea kuhusu kwa sababu passages are given by there's a lot of passages that talks about the end time kuna mambo so just explain kuna mambo katika Biblia imesema katika nyakati hizi za mwisho. So I want to remind I want us to remind ourselves and to know that Jesus is really coming very soon. Nataka tujikumbushe ya kwamba ni hakika Yesu anakuja. And if he comes, if you die before he comes, are you ready? Are you prepared? Na kama utakufa baada ya Yesu kukuja, umejitayarisha? He says when he comes Biblia inasema ya kwamba wakati atakapokuja the dead shall rise again. Walio wapo watailuka tena. First just to believe in him. Ya kwanza ni muamini the rise again and caught up with the saints who are living that moment. Watakao kufa watainuliwa na wakae na watakatifu and go and meet Christ in the clouds. Na waende wa wamulaki Yesu mawinguni. Remember the angel told uh, the apostles Kumbuka alivyoambia mitume the way you have seen Jesus rising up to heaven vile mmemuona akienda juu the same way he will come down na vile tu mtamuona akikuja after Jesus has spoken after his resurrection he has spoken to the disciples then he went up to the ground and disappeared wakati wa Yesu aliponena na mitume alafu akaenda so are you prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ je umejitayarisha kurudi kwa Yesu Kristo are you prepared when you die ama utajitayarisha wakati utakapo who is ready to meet with Jesus Christ. Dipo kaifunuliwa pamoja na Kristo. Yes,